Okay, so She Sells Sanctuary by The Cult. This is Billy Duffy playing guitar here, and um, it's a really cool guitar part. I've always really liked this song. Whenever it comes on the radio, I automatically turn it up because it's just such a good rock song. But the actual guitar part is really, really cool. Um, I've never played this before until I learned it for this tutorial. And pretty well the whole thing is on two strings, which I had no clue. Uh, it's on the D and the G string, like 99% of it. And we just used the B string really for that, that high note. So it's crazy, it's like... And it just drones, like, you know, the bass is kind of like D, C, and G. I mean, it's three chords, but with a guitar, that D string is sounding in every beat of the song. So it's always droning. It's crazy. This would be a good one for bagpipes, <laughs> because that never stops droning. There's three or four different little melodic type things he does on the guitar in this song that sort of are a feature of the song. We'll get into those in a second, but before I get going too far here, I want to talk about the sound I've got. Now, um, he uses a JC120, a Roland Jazz Chorus 120. It's kind of a legendary amp. It gives you that really nice um, stereo chorus sound, and that's how he's getting this sound. You know, I don't know exactly how he's doing it. Um, you know, it's the Jazz Chorus for sure and then among a bunch of other things. So what I've done here, um, and by the way, I just control my volume throughout this whole song to get the different, the different sounds. So what I've got is I'm in my gain channel. I've got really no gain. It's just enough to get a sound. And I've got my guitar down to about two here, okay? So that's, that's my sound with nothing. It's just got a bit of amp reverb. So what I've done is I've got a, a thing called, um, and I mentioned this in the description box below. I always list my gear in there. It's called a uh, TC Electronics Nova System. And uh, it's a fantastic multi-effects unit. Just really love this thing. You can pretty well get any, anything out of it that you need. I'm not a real big effects guy, but uh, for this song, this thing was perfect. I mostly use it for delays. Anyway, so what I did is... For the chorus, instead of using the, the chorus that it has, which is a good chorus, I use uh, the pitch, the detune on the pitch, and that's sort of the sound you get. I've got it plus eight, minus eight. So that's with it on. That's off. Okay, it's quite subtle. I, I believe in being subtle with the effects. Okay, so that's giving you the kind of chorus effect. And I've also got the um, a flanger. That's with the flanger on. That's just the pitch. And the flanger. Okay, and then I've got a digital delay, which I haven't got on yet, but and I, it's just a tap tempo. So I'll, I'll turn that on. And it's really key to have your guitar at zero and just get it on to one or two, just enough to get a sound, because that'll give you that really nice clean tone. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I've got the Billy Duffy tone here, right? But it's pretty close. So anyways, let's get into the lick now. I'll turn the delay off while we do this. Okay, so we're in the key of D, and we're basically going to be using these notes. It's like the D major scale. On the G string, right? And then he's using that C note there. So technically you would, you'd call this a Mixolydian mode because that seventh is flatted, right? Instead of having the major seventh. Anyways, that's not really that important. Those are the only notes he's ever gonna use. And the A note down here. And then 
this note here, which would be the D note, up on uh, B15. It starts with the open D, and then we immediately hit the A note on G14. Okay, so we're always bouncing off that open D. Okay. There's three of those. So that's the first part of the intro, and then Okay, really, really cool. Really unique kind of the style he's got going. Kind of like the edge in a lot of ways, I think. So that last bit is... Right, 14, 12, 16. And three of those again, right? Ending up on that D note on a B15. Okay, so that's the intro look, right? And that will come in later, too. Like, if you're playing this in a band, you're going to have to play all these parts if you're one guitar band. But the way they record it, it's very layered. There's a lot of different guitars coming in and out. There's even that acoustic, you know, coming in on that G note. That's all it does, right? Just, that's all it does in the song. But it's so effective, right? Like, to me, this is a, another great example of a, a really simple idea that's just put together perfectly, right? I just think it's a great guitar part. Okay, so that's the intro. Then we get into the main lick. And what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna turn my guitar up. And with the delay, like I don't have the delay on now, but when you get into the main lick, you're gonna wanna dial back the delay because the intro delay is way too much. I mean, with, with effects, I just, I never really know what they are. I just muck around with them till it sounds right. Okay, so, uh, the, the main kind of theme is now going to be... Okay, so we're just going... We're always hitting the D string, and we're going... Can okay, use whatever fingers you want here. Okay, and then he does it again, and that's kind of the main look. And then he gets into the vamping, and the vamping, it's crazy. It's just the two strings, just... Right, up to that G12. Like, with the delay, that sounds great. Okay, does it twice, and then we're into... Down to the C, up to the G, right? Okay, then we come into our sort of second lick, lick number two, kind of a different theme where he goes. Okay, so what that is is Okay, and always sit in the D string. And then repeat the first part of it. And end it up by going. To that whole lick.
Okay, so that's how that one goes. And the second time in the song, it's a little, that ending bit. It's a little bit different. I didn't totally catch what that is, but um, it's just a minor variation on that, right? And then we get into the chorus. And the chorus, instead of going... You know, we're just going to go... Dun, 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 right? Open, with very little muting. Down to the C. And then we're into the breakdown, right? And while one of the guitars does the, the intro look again, the rhythm guitar just holds that and then goes, right? While the other guitar is going. Here. Right, and then. Okay, and then we're into the third lick and that goes like this. Okay, really cool licks, right? Okay, really simple, but so effective. Right? And then we're into the very end, okay? And the end is kind of cool because it's a mixture of the intro and lick number one okay so the ending lick goes like this okay so it's kind of you know half and half right half the intro and then lick number one And then we just end it with A, G, A, right? And then the other guitar comes in and goes. Okay, so, you know, it's very simple. The licks are really simple, but the idea and the concept and the way it's put together is just brilliant, I think. I think it's just an awesome song. Anyways, that's it. That's it, all the licks in it. And I think I mentioned already... You know, the acoustic just on a G chord, right? But with, you know, it's super simple again, but without it, it's, you know, it really makes a difference, I think. It accents that part of the song. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this. Hope you enjoy playing it. It's a great one to play in a band, and if you get your sounds right, you know, it's going to sound really good. Okay, hope you get something out of it. We'll talk to you next time.